Um, tonight is uh, Lama Shabbat. How, huh? how do you say it's the date tonight? Ro- Rosh Chodesh Adar. Uh, Rosh Chodesh Adar. Uh, 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 the, the base Rosh Chodesh Adar. Yeah. Okay, no, it's Aleph. It's Aleph. No, but it's your base Rosh Chodesh Adar. Okay. <laughs> Rosh Chodesh Adar, Tashin Samik Test. Tonight we are starting the new mimer on Ahmed Yud Test. Anoichi, Anoichi, Maichi Pishecha, Mayani. In the Rabbi Roshav's Hemshek Tafre Samik Test. Right, the Shabbos Teshuva. Uh, race some of this. <coughs> so we begin with um, a quote from the um, Shema Nesri on uh, Yom Kippur, on the uh, Shema Nesri of, uh, well, it, it works out in all the Shema Nesri, even in the Musa, but uh, just before the uh, the main uh, bracha, then we quote a Pasik from Yeshaya Wanovi. There's a Pasik in chapter Mem Gimel, uh, Pasik uh, Kofhei, uh, Yeshayahu Anovi, uh, which he says in the name of Hashem, Anoichi, Anoichi, who moicher pishoecha lemani. I am verily he, Anoichi, Anoichi, who I am he that uh, literally rubs out or erases your deliberate sins, as is one under the word Pesha, means uh, the, the, the lost or less, um, um, what you might call, uh, attractive of all the forms of uh, sins, which is the union of Pesha, meaning a deliberate sin. <coughs> that, uh, and then it's written in the Hemshech of that Pashik, and I will not r- uh, remember or chatoim. So Torah and Arachit is a less madrega in the in the Indian of Avera. It could even be bederak uh, shaygeg. Mashkin pesha is bederak meitzit. So the thing that attracts uh, our attention is the doubling of the word onoichi. Um, um, if the kavana is to say that I, uh, the Abishar calling himself by uh, the word Anoichi, then it's enough for him to say uh, once. And also, what does it mean that he, he rubs out our pesh or he erases it? Uh, that would tend to, in, uh, to suggest that there's maybe a Roshim, it's at the Odom, he hasn't completely uh, rubbed out his sin in which a way it's open to him to do. There's left over something. And therefore, the Abish just says he will wipe it uh, out by the man e for his own sake, as it were, not for the sake of the Odom, but no, for his own sake. Chorikhlov in Mahu Indian base Pomim Onoichi. What is the Indian of twice Onoichi? <clears throat> Rashi says over there that Anoichi uh, twice tells us that the Avish is saying, I am the one who has already in previous years and previous times wiped out your sins or rubbed them out, and I'm going to do it again now. In other words, it's talking as it were in history and in the present. And therefore he says, Anoichi, Anoichi, I am the one who always did it, I'm now the one who will do it or is doing it at this moment. Now, it's a common thing in some of the Navim, and particularly in Yeshayahu Anovi, that they mention the with that uh, personal uh, reference, Anoichi, in a double way. <coughs> um, and we're familiar with it in the Torah, as we'll soon see in a second, uh, but it's, we're familiar with it as a very precise and high-level reference of the Ebishto to Kavioho, to his own being, Mamish. Therefore, that makes it even more, um, what you might call, uh, puzzling and question-rising, why do we double it up? I mean, if I say, oh, no, then I mean the very essence of Hashem. I mean, Kavioho, his own being. What's it, uh, what, is, what sort of a, a significance 
or reference could it have to double it you know, and, and say Anovi you know, Anovi. However, Yeshaya or Novi is one known as the uh, he's the Novi Agiula as he's called, because the majority of his Novuas um, <coughs> deal and talk were about the Giula Asida, not just on um, Giula's uh, proteges, but the Giula uh, Asida. Uh, Lavoi take it from Yad uh, Mamich. Defa, uh, we find in, well, I don't know if it's Defa, but we do find that in numerous Psukim he uses the expression Onoichiyah, even in the same chapter where this one occurs, at the beginning of the chapter he opens the whole Navu of that chapter with the expression Onoichiyah, and it occurs in other places in his Navuas. And that's one of the half Torahs of one of the last uh, settlers in the Torah, Pasha Kisove, uh, in that half Torah we also say it's one of the Shiva de Nechemta, one of the seven uh, half Torahs of uh, comfort after Tisha B'yav, uh, Would We hope that that day won't uh, ever be again in the way that it was. Uh, uh, the Shiva, they call the Shiva de Nechemta, the seven famous half Torahs, uh, so there's another one from Yeshaya, and I'll be interested enough in a later posik. Uh, I know over there it's written, Anoichi, Anoichi hu menachim chem. Yeah, I am the one who brings your uh, nechoma or your comfort after your tsar of the Golas. We're talking obviously about the Geula. So therefore it's a common thing in Yeshaya, Anoichi. And maybe we could suggest, just by way of possibility and just uh, by way of suggestion, he is that uh, Yeshaya Novi talks openly and uh, very uh, oftenly about the Gul Shlema, and that's basically the whole theme of all of his Navuas, and therefore he doubles up uh, Inyonim, as it's well known that the Kefo, the doubling of certain Inyonim are indicatory of the, of the Gul, like it's brought down by uh, uh, what uh, the Abes have said to Avramov in Lech Lecho. It's also important that that's a remus to the Indian regular where certain words are doubled, and certain oasis even are doubled, then those oasis being doubled in that way, or those words being doubled, that they indicate the Indian of the Gula. I know that in the Gula everything will be double what it is in the highest way that it could be imagined uh, actual. And if, uh, even though there might be very high Giluim are revealed uh, now, Legabi uh, Liosi, they're only, be as, they're only as it were halfway or even less. It's going to be a double uh, uh, portion, as you might say, a monocafula biesa Liosi Love. That's what we suggest by way of possibility, just in a general way, why it's common in Yeshaya Novi, the usage of that uh, yeah, very high personal suffix or personal reference uh, to the Abishta uh, in a way that it's double. However, that is in effect uh, the question, why would we say, uh, we pointed out uh, twice the phrase, by Matan Torah we find the word for the first time, referring to the Ebrista, but it's only written Pam. Um, so obviously the Rebbe is building a kasha out of that, and he goes on to say, "Kamoshe Kosov, Anochi Havai Elokecha, Asher Hoitzisicha Mi'eretz Mit Raim." That that's the first of the Dibreis, the Esa Dibreis. Yes, the Esa Dibreis. They begin with that expression, "Anochi Havai Elokecha, Asher Hoitzisicha Mi'eretz Mit Mit Raim." And it's well known the the big Gebi. That's put down uh, not only in Chassidus but even in Divrei Razal, he had a greatness of that expression on Oichi, which occurs at the beginning of the and uh, the Aseret Divrei and the Altar brings in Tanya and Perikov, all the mitzvahs Asei and Nil Mozim in that word, and uh, apart from other great Ramozim that it has, etc., etc. Et and we have to take into account that Matan Torah was a Gilu Elakus Shaloi Be'erach. All the Gilu Yalakus that have been up to now, and to a certain extent, Shalai Berach, all the Gilu Yalakus, which was after Matan Torah, Adle Liyasi De Love, until Bia Samashia. At a far, Matan Torah was a tremendous Yetzer Mina, a cloud, it was like the, the breaking of all the 
rules and all the laws which had existed up till now in the union of Gilad Akkuz. Well, I brought down a famous marshal of the Bnei Suri Eloi, yeah, yeah, the Loremi and the Bnei Remi Eloi, Yalu Lasuri, the Shemaim Shemaim Lashem, or it's Nozan Livnei. Uh, Adam, the, the Elikus never came down. Kaviol and the, 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 those underneath never really got up to Emes uh, uh, Gil Elikus. And that was the union of all the world. Prior in the union, they avoided the always. They never, mummies reach Achim, saying, say, for my love, me say the uh, uh, oil, which is a market to oil himself upon him. And if I, it's a tremendous Gil Elikus, both going to get to the past and going to get to all the Hemshech, Martin Taylor, a tremendous Gil Elikus. And yet, nonetheless, we find over there, Anuichi only mentioned Palm, yeah, Palm Echos. Is why over here is it mentioned twice? The Ramat and Taylor, Hoya Gil Elikus, Shahoya Meya Gil Erein Seif Lamata. In other words, that there had always been Gil Elikus, but like we said, it was Hashomayim, Shomayim Leha, Hashem, Bahor, it's not in the Adam, that the union of Elikus, but Golui was Le, was Lamaila. And like the author of brings in Torah Ur, in Pashig Yisrael, that he brings down that the uh, the always ikavid osum was to be mamshik oyer uh, eloki beatzilas. That was ik in yonim of ikavid osum. Davki alidei matan teira that yera Hashem al har sinai. It was a kila elakus yer mil mail elamate. Or that was the nesinas koyat that the odom and the kabu es teira would also be able to be megala elakus down here over in zeho el not just in oyer moa atzila. And that's what he says, and Dalia Dadi, and for Martin Taylor, there was a Gila Erin Seifler, the Mata, and that was a tremendous Nasina Square for the Adam, that he should be able to be uh, uh, later on in his Square, and in his uh, Mitzvah, and in his Aveda, to be Megala and Mamsha Kalakusla, the Mata, but Teichla Oilam. And that's in effect what happened, Vayera Dashim Al Har Sin, Sinai. So he said it was only Abe who came down on Mount Sinai, but he didn't really affect anybody. So therefore he says, Be all called Dibu Vadibu Porchanis Mosa. It's one on the Russian the Gemara in the famous Sugi of Martin Taylor over there in, in Masekta Shabbos, where the Gemara brings it to Al Kol Dibu Vadibu Porchanis Mosa. And each, each of the Sarah Sadibris, each time the Abe spoke, that it caused the Nishama Sadiyidin to go out. Literally from their bodies, Barov is spineless, and with the tremendous effect that they had from the Gila Elikus, and it was only that the Avish gave it back. Yeah, the Avish each time brought it back into their bodies, but the Batal Tchia was like an infant Tchia, sir. Amazing, we brought it back with him in infant Tchia, the Alta River, is Mavaya in Torah Earth, so Periklamad Hay, but the Alta River brings out that Inyan, Erefa, it follows. That there, 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 there was a Gil Elikus, not just on Har Sinai, but it was a Gil Elikus also in the in the mansion in the world. Kipshutai, albeit it didn't last for forever, that Gil Elikus, there was a certain Nistalkus back again after that. But Bishas Maisa, and to a certain extent, that was a Sinai Square for all the Deus to come. Then the Yidden were Mamish Mekabu, that Giloi. But they weren't able to be macabre at Mamish because they were Nishamas Patek Kurim. It ever I'll call Diba Vadiba Porchan Yish. Most of their, their souls flew out and had to be put back into their, into their bodies each time, as the altar mentions over there in Tanya. O Miko Mokim, Nema Pam Akasonoki. Despite the fact that it was such a tremendous giveaway, it was only mentioned one time on Oiki. Why is it that here, which Lachera is not a, you know, any special Gilwe over Matan Torah, it's, it's in inverted commas only an Avua, I mean, it's a tremendously high Gilwe, and of course, I think to say, I mentioned, any Novi is a great Indian. Uh, you know, it's hard to imagine that that's a greater Gilwe than Matan Torah, and therefore, why should it be Gilwe? A monarch fuller, Amish double, the Gabi Martin, the Gabi Martin Toyer. The Gom Charik Lahovi, and we also need to understand, Masha Kosov, Mechep Pesho, Echo Lemaan E. The Avis says he's going to wipe out your sins for the sake of him. So, 
<coughs> but uh, with the Ebenezer and the, the Radak and others over there, they learn in the Pasik that the Abishah says he's doing it Lamani in order that there shouldn't be any Chilula Hashem Alidei, the, the Chatois from the Yidin. It was for Chilula Hashem. That if the if, if the Abishu were punished them severely and, and, and wiped them out, God forbid, or under Zachan, mitzad the in of their chatois, and people would say, oh, you see, yeah, what's for an Irish business is all in with the Abish and the Eden. Yeah, look, he had to go and destroy them because they couldn't even keep what he asked of them, etc. etc. Et, et, but maybe they're trying to kill Hashem. Therefore, in order to avoid the union of Kidl Hashem, the Abish says, I will be Moiche Pesha. In order that the goyim shouldn't be mali al al diri Hashem al neshamis Yisrael, and if uh, that, that's a simple taich as they as they taich it, why it's written lema an lemani. If I mean it's not so much lemani bemes, but it's lemani in order that there shouldn't be any kilo kilo Hashem or bizoyin legabida deivista. Oh, but the Rebbe is touching it in a, in a more direct way that the word Lamani would tend to indicate that it's Nugea in some way to the to the Ebesh, the BMS. It's, and therefore he says, I'm being Moira the Pishoyim for my sake. So therefore says the Rebbe, what's the child to say that Q, those Pashoim have somehow or another affected Hashem and therefore he's got to wipe them out because otherwise it, it affects him or bothers him, the first is a little bit of a, uh, how can you say that? Kemoisha ima ha odom bishvili. Yes, like you've mentioned, for my sake. Yeah, I'm doing this for my sake. Yeah, sheino imuvan ma shayach zela maila. What would that be in a girl a maila? Vahaloi veim todakta ma titain, ma titain loi. The famous pasuk in Eoiv, where Eoiv says that even if you're a tzaddik, you know, if you do everything, you don't give anything to the, to the Abishta, that the mitzvahs were not given for the sake of the Abishta. Yeah, they don't affect him in any way. Even if you're a great tzaddik, you don't add anything into a, a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Yeah, and even if you will sin, what have you done to? To me, you haven't affected me at all. Sha'ena uh, both uh, the Chid Kasa Odom or the Hapak of, uh, of, of his being righteous, if he sins, then he doesn't add or subtract or in any way affect uh, the Abishta. The Adkade Kafalo, you need to know how mitzvahs El Tzorek by Emesa Abriyot. What the Gemara says, the Messiah is that the whole Indian of the giving of the mitzvahs was only the Tzorek by Emesa. Habrius, how to call it to uh, 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 smithy them with the, with the heat of the metal and how to call it to clean them out uh, through uh, the heat of, uh, uh, of, how do you say, a smithy, you know, a guy that he heats metal in order to clean it out. That's called the charev. We uh, uh, used to have these uh, watch smithies and all sorts of guys that they used to make little um, silver things and watch cases and everything out of uh, silver they had to heat up the silver to get uh, the dirt out of it and melt it and then reset it into a, a shape well that's called Tlitzarei Tzirup and if, uh, the whole purpose of the mitzvahs was only given in order to burn out your material a bit and shape it and make it good you know, to make you a uh, how do you call it a purified being that's the whole reason why the mitzvahs were given and Leinitna mitzvahs er only for that purpose. In other words, that they have no reference to uh, Hashem. The, uh, Hashem doesn't. It doesn't affect him whether you keep the mitzvahs or whether you, uh, or whether you don't. It only affects you. If you keep the mitzvahs, then you become mitzuraf. If you don't keep the mitzvahs, then you become the opposite of mitzuraf. Uh, uh, Hashem is more. To use the expression in Yiddish, you become fagre- fagrept. You know, you become <laughs> sort of coarse and you drop into into Gashmi, so Chumis, Vukulov, or your term is 
the other farm, uh, the Abish to say that uh, all of giving it a mitzvah is all, that's, that's what the Gemara says, was only given a tzara of the Sabriya. It's a hard thing to say that, uh, that the Abish has got Pshoim, uh, well, not he has Pshoim rather, but he's got your list of Pshoim, and he has to wipe that out because it affects him. It doesn't affect him. He says, him Ta silly, what have you done me if you if you if you made a sin, Rachmani Nitlan? The whole thing is only for your sake. It doesn't ever say how can we say that he's wiping out our sins because it's somehow or another affecting him. That's the heap of all these inyon. Behim came, Ma Shayak Wema Le Ma'an E why would the Avish to say that he's wiping out the sins for his sake? Must but that somehow or another it's Nogeya uh, and affecting him, and therefore he wants to wipe them, uh, them out. Uh, he can't possibly say that. Uh, uh, it would seem. So if we are going to say it, then we have to understand on what basis do we, yeah, do we say that? Remember, yeah, those are the main uh, shilas. Is there so now? The Rabbi says, in there." In order to understand these uh, questions, yes, uh, we have to go back and mention what was uh, uh, explained above the Indian Kale Deis Ha Shem, what we saw in the Tefillah of Chana. Yeah, that's also the Avtira on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, the, 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 the old story of Chana, how she, uh, she gave birth to Shmuel. And then she sang the song of thanks to the Avish at the end. In which he mentioned the expression "kale de isachem." So we bought, we spoke about the two different deyos, yeah, das elyon and das achtein, and we were much more barichas that they are also in the orel kis atzme. They are in the inin of the gila elakus. They are mitzad the abisha biika, not just mitzad the the brios, and that's two different levels in gila elakus or ha orel elakus. Mil Maila, and therefore it's miscabble and it reveals itself to the Nivroim and the Mikabalim also in two different mm-hmm. ways. In other words, it's not that we say Das Takt and Das Erlin is Mitzad the Nivroim, no, on the contrary, it's Mitzad the, the Abisha, and that is a Pshat Kael Deyois. The Abisha is a, uh, a Elokus in which he has himself two levels, which are two forms of knowledge or as it were Giloi. And that we saw there was the Ayn Ha Aleph and the Ayn Ha Ha Bey. Shahim Bey Steyes, I'm sorry, Shahim Bey Steyes, the Das Selen, the Das Takten, Hain Bey Elkut, Kael Deyes Ha. There are two different ways that the Avish does Megali himself to the Megablim. The Das Elyein, who be ha ora Elki Shilamailamia. Oilamaz, as we saw, it was in the Elokus Ali Haora is Haora Atzmi yes, a gilui of the Moya Bilvad, and therefore it's too high and beyond and moved all the gamli from being even a mokir to the Oilamaz, because we pointed out that even to be a mokir there has to be a certain getter of matia. This oil being as it is a gilui mamish of the Moya of the of of the Atzmas, then it's not tired to be in any form of Matthias or any form yeah, of uh, a particular uh, limitation in order to be a mocker to something. But das tachte in huber haora ha mitzam tzemes lioes mokele ilamet. And we saw that the das tachte in was a gilel akus which had been through the Indian of Tzimtzum, which made it uh, on a lower level that it's able to uh, relate uh, in a more direct way, you know, like we saw the Indian Dova and Lui Dova, you know, we saw that the Indian of the Nivus is called Dova and the Indian of the Ayn is called Lui Dova. So he's the Indian of Shlila, of the Dova, of the Nivra, of the Yizori Amoke, what he can be somehow or another, Mislavish in, uh, or at least Misyaches, to uh, the uh, Nivroim Haraya Lamata. And that what we saw was the Deya Shnio. Das Taktoim. Oh, but notice that we use here the expression Mitzam Tzemans, we use the Inan Atzimtum. As we pointed out, that in order to reach that Inan, that that, that uh, uh, level in Gilal Kuz, 
albeit it's still a ha'ora mamish eloki metal inyonim begoloi, but it's already been mitzamt same that alidei the inyan atzimtum is been nelam that inyan of the of the atzmius in the ha'ora rishayno in the ha'ora aleph. And ever since the atzmius has been what you might call misalim or nelam alidei the ha'ora. Alidei the Tzimtzum, wherever it's possible for it to be at least a mocker to the Inyana, Oilam is like we bought the whole year. But I really want to get to that iron habeis, I thought it was shy to be mislavish uh, in the Nivroim, etc., etc., and the father, Klolos Aveda, at the Nivroim, which are macabre from that level, is called Bitl Hayesh Bil Bilvat. Shenken the beetle, which is the mayor in the Nevroim, Alidei the iron olive, that's Kula Kamei Kaloicha, Shiva, as we saw the Indian from beetle, but Matthias, man. So that's a, a brief uh, summing up of the Indian at uh, uh, Koi. Um, Rabbi, does the word Makor, does it, does it have any relationship with, uh, with like Tophis at all? Or anything Kup, like that? Makor, the word Makor, does it have. Uh... Well, we had it about that in the previous month. About that at, at great length. That in order to be a mocker, something has to be in the form of a Matthias culture. In order to be able to relate to be a source of Hashpur to something else. And if it's going to be, to what other word did you want to compare? I didn't hear. Tophus. Sulfurus? Typhus. Typhus. Tophus. 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 Ah, Tophus. Tophus is another word altogether. What we can't do, Tophus means to grasp. What we meant to say was that the the Nevroim are tefus makom. That's an expression meaning that they have a certain place. Legabi that ha'ora. Not that the ha'ora is tefus. It's not tefus anything. <laughs> and they're also not tefus anything. What it means is that they 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 have a certain place. They have a certain matzias, and that's called tefus makom. Yeah, legabi that level. Actually, legabi the first level. Uh, we saw that was the beetle of hair, the Tephesus Mako. They don't have any place whatsoever. Right. Behine, but there are cloud, base Madragus Hanal, the Das Elian, the Das Taktain. Das Elian, but Silas, but Das Taktain, who Baha Oris, er beginnes Malchus, Das Silas, Shemeir, Labia, Yetzirovia, Kasia. So now we're starting off with a new general uh, heading. That uh, generally speaking, das elyon being the haor elokis mamish mein hamoya with the other inyonim kula kamei chaloi chasive, or that's in oilama oilama atzilas. Despite the fact that oilama atzilas is already called a oilam, albeit with a certain borrowed lotion, it's not really mamish a oilam, but it's already in in for oilas for kelim. It's already a, a whole series of interrelating uh, uh, spheres and, and, and uh, entities, as we might call them. Uh, nonetheless, we say that, that the Indian of Das Elyon is Meir Ba'atzilas, and that the closest Indian of Atzilas is Das, uh, das Elyon. The Ilo, the Indian of Das Taktim, which is the Indian of Gila Elokus, but on a lower level, or oh, that's the Ha'ora Elokis, which goes out from the last sphere of Atzilus, which is called Malchus, and that goes over into a uh, Ha'ora, which can become a Mokir and a Mashpir to uh, Bria Yitzira Vya Sia. And therefore, he uses the expression Shemayir Uli Bria Yitzira Vya Sia. And why do we need Malchus? Because it's well known that the Indian for Malchus has got itself the two famous uh, extremities on the one hand, Malchus comes Dafka from a very, very high Shoros. It comes even from higher than Atzilas Mamish. It's the Emma's Shoros of Malchus. That the Melech has to be moved on the Maruma and be etim in Yone. But what actually does he give over to the people? What, how does he re- actually react to the whole Medina? Only in a way of Tzimtzum Beha or Abil. Yeah, Bill Vad, which is the Indian from Dibu, and that's what we call Dva Melech Shiltain, that the whole ruling of the king is through his word. Bidva Melech Shiltain, or as we have it, yeah, Bidva Rashem Shomayim Nasu, the whole, yeah, Rikas, that's only the Indian from Dibu, yeah, Eulam Adibu, which is a Tim Tum Vahaora Bill, yeah, Bill Vad from the Nefesh, 
And that's the two in the extremities in Malachit. In a far Malchus, on the one hand, is Mechabal, like all the spheres in Atila, it's Mechabal, but can you miss on a very high Madrega of Atila? Or what it gives over, yeah, because it holds back, and it's, it's Maili Mumastir. And Machamsim, the whole union of Atila, it gives only over a Haora Bilbad to the union of uh, Bria Yatira of Atila. In a far, the Das Taktin is the yeah, the lower Bukhina of Malchus, what we call the Chitanius of Malchus, or the infant Eretz, Sheba Malchus, in other words, the Haora, which is Maya into B, B, yeah. not Etzim of Malchus, how it's Yuchad, a dying Bacillus. And if I, that's Das Elin and Das, Das Tachter. I have two questions. One is, is Malchus itself uh, at its low level considered part of the, the Bria, or is it always just the Malchus? And that's the first. And what's with Tesser? Is Malchus itself into Bria? It goes, goes no, no, Malchus the, is, uh, it, it is only a, a, a mocker. But it, it, uh, what it gives out from itself is only a ha, ha, ha or a And that's considered the yesh? And the that Bria gives rise to the yesh. That makes it possible that ha or a bulvad, or that makes it possible that there be a yesh in the form of Bria, Yetir, a Bia. That's it. And what's with Kesser? Ah, Kesser's uh, the, uh, way up the other side. Kesser is in the uh, Lomailami, uh, they call it a Spheres. That's the the Ursha Lomailami, Mea Chochma. And Kesser is the Inifan, either the Inifan Arik or the Inifan Atik. But what you probably mean is, how does Kesser fit into Malchus? Well, that's a Pneumus of Malchus. No, that's Pneumus Viatius. Malchus. Uh, is Maya the Koyach of Kesa Davke in Malchus, and that's the ability to be Mansi the Yesh Minoayin, the Oydin Yonim. But that's not when you get to the Yetz Giloy, that's in Yonim which are the Helem Gadol Batecha Malchus. No, how does it fit into the Yesh Ayin Yesh? Is it, it where, if it's not. Ah, where does it fit into the uh, Yesh Ayin Yesh? Yes. Yeah, well, we said the two Madrigas in, uh, in, in the Ayin. You follow? The first we said there are day, Das Elin and Das Tachtein. So the 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 uh, the uh, Atzmus is the Urshel Amalim until the Eibusta. The Ma'atzil, as you might call it. The Eibusta is the Ma'atzil of, of, of Gantz Atzil. That's the Eibusta. That's the, uh, how do you call it, the Atzma. And then the Das Elin, the first Madrig, is Atzil. Uh, das Tachtein is the Ha'ora, which is Meir Alidei Malvus Atzil, into Biyat. If I want, that's a das tach. Um, can you say that it comes from Kesser? Because it says in Pesach Halio that um, Kesser Elia and Kesser Malchus. Yeah, yeah, Kesser Elia and Ihu Kesser Malchus. Yes, you're right. I was explaining to him that is that is 100% right. Uh, but that is Maya Behelem. That's not uh, Begoli. That Koyach Kesser in Malchus is not uh, not Begoli. It's like of a Bepnimis Viatmias, and that's his show. Raisha de Lois Yada. Alright, so that's the two Madragas then. Then we've got Das Elin is Klolos Elam Atzilas, and Das Takten is the Ha'ora from Malchus, which is Meir into Bria Yitziravia Atzil. The Hine Nizbor Liyil, the Big Day, she is Avas and Ivroy, and we are in Tseiparachu, Chorik Liyil is Tsimtsum, the Hester Ho'er, Liyil is Nimshak Rakukinus Ha'ora Diha. Or, yeah, Levat. Ki me prinus a gilui de oire in save, i actually is a savas on you. So the Rebbe said, we've already been mavaya kama piomim in the previous mimer and also in the first mimer, that uh, for the Avishta to be mahava the inin of the nivroim, then there has to be a tzimtzum vehesta in the oir. And what is that symptom of Hester? What is it supposed to produce? It's supposed to produce a ha'ora di ha? Ha'ora. Isn't it, uh, my son? Maybe you set up a little word would be better for all the inyonim. Is, um, uh, well, that's the union of uh, uh, the, uh, the necessity for there to be a symptom of Hester in order that there should be a ha'ora di ha'ora le levad. Why? Because the 
it's impossible for there to be the actual coming into being of the new of the new Roy. I said the far says the Rebbe we have to have a chimpanzee hester for there to be ha'ora diha ha'ora now ha'ora means a luminescence pilva just a, a reflection as it were and a ha'ora diha'ora means a luminescence of a luminescence or a reflection of a reflection if you like to call it that way and that causes uh, the possibility that from where ain't safe there can be a aniv anivroi now here we notice that uh, ha'ora di ha'ora is dafki through tzimtzum ve behester. Because l'chera ha'ora means a uh, just a spashtus bilvad from uh, a given uh, higher point. Uh, for example, we talk about uh, the Indian for etzim ho'oya shalomayla mi tzimtzum arishin. And then we, we talk about his Pashtasaya. We talk about how from the very high level in the earth, the very intense, the vacant level of the earth, there's a, undergoes what's called a horrible vada is Pashtas. But that's what we call a is Pashtas uh, Achmias, or we call a Ha'ora Achmias. In other words, that every Indian, which is already a Kirui, can give off from itself a, a, a further form of Gilu, which is called a is Pashtas. Uh, and that's not, not necessarily with Timsum. But cloud doesn't have to be direct Timsum. But it's like an, an etum giving off only a luminescence of itself. Like the source of light only gives off just a... Uh, so once it's gone into the form of a Ha'ora, even though it came from that etum, bleed Timsum, uh, it's only a, a luminescence, which has no real... Uh, how do you call it? Error, Klagabi, the market that it came, the Indian that it came from. Like all uh, etim and, and uh, haora, or they have no error one to the other. However, on the other hand, it's very clear and very obvious to the seer that the oil comes from that from that light. In other words, that the oil doesn't lose through going into a pastures, it doesn't lose its open and obvious connection with the moya. In other words, the oil is still clearly a uh, ha'ora from the ma'or. So whenever you have uh, ha'ora b'vad, then you've gone from a, a madrig which is now considered, it might have been itself a ha'ora, but it's now considered a a'etim, and it undergoes a ain't a roi hatike is pashtas, and that is, that is pashtas called ha'ora from that madrig. Well, those madrigas are called ha'ora achmis. They're not called yeah, ha'ora nivdelas. Now we're going to meet the expression ha'ora nivdelas shortly. They're not, they're not uh, called a separate ha'ora, but they're called ha'ora, albeit ain't a rake like a video but it's what you might call a recognizable ha'ora. In my mind, the readers from those uh, levels uh, are not necessarily in a, even a complete loss of uh, what you might call open cash with the, with the first mock here. And they're also, uh, they're not mamishin if an illiver all either, because illiver all is only shy after there's been already a, a certain limitation in the whole in and through the Timsa Marish and Bukhul. However, a ha'ora of this sort, it comes through Timsum Vahester, or that's another type of ha'ora. Or that's a ha'ora which comes in a drastic way. It's not a inyan from a yesh mi'ayin, it's still a ha'ora, but it comes in a way that you don't notice openly the connection of that ha'ora with it, its, with its moya, as it were, from which it is coming. As it were, it's like a, 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 a very powerful symptom in the middle, which is called a hester, a covering over, so that you don't notice openly that that oil is a ha'ora me, yeah, uh, the original um, uh, moya or the original etum from which it began. And one of the classical examples of that in Siddhas, uh, is that we say that the, uh, the moya, for example, goes over into the hairs. The hairs of the head are like a ha'ore from the, the kilo. They grow out of the, uh, of the moya. The, the shuris is in the moya. But they go through, well that shuris that the, the hairs have in the moya, is interrupted by what's called the etchum hagu, hagu and that makes like a big hefsek in the whole union. 
So that when the hairs come out, it's not noticeable their connection with the brain at all. And it's only that you can tell that there is, that if you pop them out by force, and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll say, oh, yeah, the, the, the guy will go give a cry, uh, you know, ouch, or something, uh, because that's uh, indicative there is still the cash it would do. There is still the cancer with the moya, but you don't notice it openly. Therefore, if you cut them horizontally, it doesn't cause him any, mm-hmm. any pain or any uh, discomfort uh, at all. Uh, because so great is the symptom of the etim of the, of the cough, how do you call it, the etim of uh, That symptom is so great. However, the truth of the matter is that the hairs are still mechubah with the brain. They still grow out of the, uh, they still come from the, yeah, brain, and they have a shirish in the brain. So that's what we call aha or a dirt symptom for hester. In other words, there's a thing in the middle that even though the thing is still mechuba, like aha or a is, because if a or is not mechuba, when it's at it can't be maya be beklau. Uh, if a or is completely cut off, it can't be maya. However, there's a thing in the middle which is like an interrupting force working against the or, which doesn't allow it to express itself with all of its uh, normal gilui had it been ha'ora on it, on without the hester. That's what we mean here. So we mean to say that in order for there to be the yisavis of the nivroim, then there has to be a ha'ora, the ha'ora which has come through tzimtzum v'hester ho'er. In other words, that that original oyer is now a ma'or, like Abhi, this level, and that only goes a ha'ora. But if it only went a ha'ora, it was to be a gilui of that oil, it would just be a lower level in the oil, but it would be clearly a nickel, it would be nickel to everybody that that's that oil, because it would be dovuk and uh, mukuba with its oil. Oh, but now there's a hester in the middle, a dovuk which is like mylim and works against us, well, that giloi. And therefore, even though it is really mukuba, you don't you see that called kakpa begalui, and therefore it's able to become yeah, a mocker to the end of his. Habis Hanim, right. Now it's very important to notice that that we're talking now uh, the the Indian of Haora here is Haora Dafkider Tzimtum and in Tzimtum Gufa a Tzimtum which is Hester. Yeah, it's like covering over and disguising. Shahare Hanivroim Heim Bali Gvu. They are all Bali Gvul the Nivroim. So you might say, well, uh, what sort of Bali Gvul are there? Some of them are so huge we don't. We don't see the beginning of them, we don't see the end. What do you mean that they're Bali Gvul? So there he quotes the Gemara in Masekta Chagiga, where the Gemara says that Mino Or Shrolakia is Mahach Mahalich Tach Shona, that from the ground to the first level in the Shiva Rakim, it would take you 500 years to to walk it. And if you were walking, it, it would take you 500 years of walking without stuff. In other words, that the, uh, uh, the and so therefore when you when you look at it, it looks to you as if it's just uh, infinitely away from you. But uh, it's not really. It is a measurable distance between you and the first level in the in the rakia. And then the Gemara says from that rakia to another rakia, which the seven of them all together is the Gemara's mother over there is also mahalat tach uh, tachshona. In other words, if you go through that old rakia up to the next one, it's another Bali Tak Shona. So you're getting into uh, 3,500 years of walking, etc., etc., to get yourself anywhere near the top one. And so therefore, even though it doesn't look to have any gvu, I mean, when you just look at it, it all looks to be beyond you and intimate, infinitesimal, etc., etc., really it is yeah, Bali yeah, gvu. The, all the Nivroim have in themselves uh, a limitation. Even the immense spaces between them are limited in some way. The whole Nivra, that's in like the space and the general, what you might call the general uh, space around the Nivroim. He said, uh, and each Nivra in his own individuality, who mugbal be etzim mahusay, u matziusay. He said, every, mugba, every uh, nivra is limited in the very makeup of his very mahus, uh, mahus meaning what he really is, umetziusei, his state of 
being a yes or a found thing. Matthias means you can actually find him. In other words, Mahusa is more like the inner of his Pinimius. What what makes him? What is he a Ruchnius or a Gashmius or what is that? And the inner and Matthiusa means his his being uh, as it were a yes uh, in the form of a, uh, a found entity. So ever he said of Bapinus Matthias Yesh Badova. And he said he's in a not only in a state of uh, uh, a Matthias, but he's a Matthias Yeshba Vadova. In other words, the Hisabas of Nivroim means that every Nivra is a Yeshba Dova. He's a Yesh and he's got in himself the union of a, what you might call a, a, a tangible entity, a limited uh, entity which it's got its own characteristics and even down here in this world it's even got measurement that the concept of being a Matthias and a Yes uh, and the concept of Hagabola they are one thing because if you're going to if you say that something is already a found entity then you're saying that it's not another entity. In other words, it must have a certain individual definitive state which makes it different from another entity. Otherwise, it's not a Yeshuma Tears. If it's already a, 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 an identifiable entity in its own Mahus and it's different and moved from another entity, and that's what we mean by Matthias, then that automatically implies that it's got Hagbola. It must have Lima. It can't be unlimited, because if it is, if it's unlimited, uh, then it's not the inning of a yeshem amatiyas. And the first is that the very fact that the nivroim are in the form, they come about in the form of a mahus, which has got in itself together, of matiyas, to the point of yesh, yeah, kipshutei, well, or that implies that they're mukbalim, they have to be limited, and the elokus which is made into them can't be in even for beauty baal. It can't be without limitation, because if it were, then it would just be mavatled them. Which means that the oil which is now coming to them must be a form of limitation in its very essence. So that's what he says. Yeah, the ko shehu matzius dova hari hu muk baal. Anything which is a matzius, it's a found entity. And it's already describable as a dovo. It's a in and in its own self. It's a thing, which means that it's that thing and not an, uh, another thing. It uh, and that means that it must be limited, because otherwise you can't call it a Matthias dovo. If it's unlimited, then it's not a Matthias dovo. And if I the very uh, concept of yesh u Matthias and limitation. Yeah, demand one the other, and they are, yeah, how do you call it, two, two different uh, aspects of the one concept. And if I said that, uh, that, that means, well, you might say, well, that's in the, the, uh, the, the, the Nivroim down here in this world, uh, but what about the Nivroim in the Elam Asalyanim, or in Nivroim, which are purely spiritual? They have no touch with Kashmir's, maybe they're not considered to be Mugbal, because they're, they're something which is completely opposite in, in almost the very essence to Kashmir's and to limitation. And therefore, said the Rabbi, that's not the case. He said, for love, not only do we say that in reference to the Nivroim down here in this world, that the in fact that there are Matthias makes them a Enim from Hagbola, but he says, the Kamoi Kain who gambe Nivroim Shalamaila, even in the Nivroim in Oilam Asalyanim, who Kamoi Nishomes Uma Malochim. Yeah, the Elam Habrio, for example, we take the Nishomes Uma Malochim, how they are in Elam Habrio. In other words, we're taking the highest possible the example, because once we get into Atilas, and we can't talk about Nivroim. In Atilas, we don't have Matthias yet. And if, uh, since we don't have uh, Matthias yet only in Oilama Priya, therefore he goes into the highest state possible in Oilamas, and he says, over oh, there you've got Malachim, and you've also got 
Nishomes. In other words, since Ganeiden is in Oilo Mabrio, Al Khoponim, the Pinimis Oilo Mabrio, you've got Ganeiden Atakta and Ganeiden Ha'elia. Well, Ganeiden Ha'elia, the truth is. Because Ganeiden Atakta can even be in Oilo Masia Haruchnias on certain levels. And if uh, you've got the Nishomes, how they are in Ganeiden Ha'elia, so the Kiddish is. That even though uh, neshamas are, are not only just ruchnias, neshamas are even higher than stam ruchnias. The truth of the matter is that the panemius of neshamas is really out of course. I mean, that's that's another Indian right? The author he brings over there in the famous Igeras Hakodesh that neshamas are kamoi out of course, but simtum otum. That mamish out of course. That's a, another Indian and malachim. Yeah, you might think, well, they're, you know, big uh, spiritual entities. Maybe they don't. Yeah, fit into this whole idea of being a Yenif and Yesh or Matthias, and therefore they don't have in themselves so much the union of Hagbola. So therefore, says the Rebbe, oh, yes, they, yes, they do. And it's, we're going to bring an interesting proof or an interesting illustration of that. However, the Rambam in the, in the famous uh, passage over there in the Hilfus Yisraeli where he talks about uh, the angels and the Malachim, well, the Rambam says that, you know, uh, uh, if you're going to say that they're just um, what he calls Siklium Nivdolium, they're just like separated pieces of Seichel, uh, the, the Malachim, that is Ruchniyas, then uh, how come they, you know, how do you separate them one from the, uh, the other? They're all just, you know, they're all just one big piece of Ruchniyas. Uh, and they don't have the union of bodies like we understand, is how they separated one from the uh, the Age. So that's what he points out, that they're separate at least in the way that they understand and they're massing things. You know, this this, this Malach is massing in, in this way and another Malach is massing in another. And therefore he's even Aveda is in Av or another one is in Yira or some of them are even higher both in Av or Yira. Yeah. We, you know, and then we see that what differentiates them and what makes them into a Matthias is the way that they are able to grasp or to appreciate or to feel Elikos. So the very fact that you say the way they appreciate and grasp and feel Elikos, well, that indicates that they are, like Abbe Elikos, a Matthias. They're reacting to Elikos by even Kaku by even yeah. So that indicates that they are really a Matthias yet. So therefore he says, They're also in a form of yesh. Well, that's the Indian of what the Malachim say, Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh. Or they say twice, or they say once. Yeah, or they say it at different times. In the famous Maimon in Lukut Eter, in Pasha Emoya, uh, the Al-Tarabiz Mavad or Parich is on Pasik Nikdashti, Besei Panayis. Well, it's got different uh, types of Malachim in Leilam Abriya, and some say Kodesh, 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 some say Kodesh, Kodesh. We have a different Madregas and different Inyonim. Oh, but they say Kodesh. So what does it mean they say Kodesh? Da'inu lot says, Yei mehag bolosan, uli hikolu ba'erein tseifa abdulti ba'u, Gvul-Ali-Dea-Sagosom-Shehe-Masigim-Shehe-Vachayis-Amislavish-Betei-Chom-Hu-Rakha-Oradi-Ha-Oradi-Ha-Oradi-Ha-Oradi-Ha-
them, or they appreciate that there must be a area which is yeah, like Amri, and they have this tremendous wanting to go out and reach at the Zinyan from Chuka, or those are the Indian from Kodesh, 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 and therefore they're called Shrofim because that literally burns their whole man. Matthias, in other words, that they become bottle, like Amri, but Matthias, like Avi, or a Bilti Baogvu, which they are Masik, they're not Masik, but at least they are able to picture and to have some sort of a grasp in that oil, and that makes them continuously in a state of tremendous rot. Toy, they want to go out the whole time, and therefore they're shrine Kodesh, yeah, Kodesh, Vakulu. So therefore, said the Rebbe, Amiras Kodesh, the Malachim, the Ainu, Lot says me, Agba, Lossum. They feel that they are in a state of a bow, and all of a sudden they picture and they have an, a, a, a certain appreciation, and they are a Bilti Bagbu. So I said, Why should we be in this? Let's go up. And therefore, they lose their whole materials. I mean, they still remain what they are, but they become completely bottled, as if they were burnt up, as if they become bottled by my So therefore, he says yeah, that they have, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they want to go out of the Hagbal Oson, or the Cholobari and say, if I built it, well, I, how do they, how do they know anything about built it, well, go? Ali de Hasogosom. Yes, he must see him, so he has a high some Islamic betechon who ain't a reich, like I be airing safe, I built it by out. Go, when my name is down on the line, huh? Be who caught his motto. The chain I saw, I'm sorry. The chain I saw is on his shamus began, Aiden, who between his group, even though Gan Aiden is what's called Pneumius, a habrio, nonetheless. Uh, even the Asoka they have there is also in a form of limitation. Kanada she calls her who pain a rake like I'll be earning say for Bilti Bao. Well, the, whatever the Malachim can be massacred, and even the Nishamas, but they are more pinimistic than the Malachim, and they are in a Madrega Gavoya in Bria, which is called Kanaiden. Nonetheless, all of their Hasogas is like Gabi, the Inan for no earning say for Bilti Bao, well, it's all in and of Gavova. Limitation. The im ho yo meya gila and safe lo yo yisavas hani roim klau. And if that oil would have been meya, then there wouldn't be any yisavas out there at all. And therefore, even though they're masigit, they're not masigit mamish begila bepnimia. Because if they were, then they would also just be not there. But at least they're aware of it, and they have a certain hasoga samatias in that oil, and therefore they would like to be coddled. And therefore their whole being is called saruf, it's called srafim, a killer that they, they exist, but they don't. They, 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 they don't really want to exist the way they, yeah, they are, uh, but uh, uh, due, due to the fact that they are in that oil, then kilo of they remain by Jesus, you in for many years. And the same with the Nishamas, the Nishamas have this tremendous close and effort yeah, to the Shalomailam, Iganet, Bukhulu, but, however, he said, all that is due to the fact that it comes to them, but there are symptom and gvu, and they can only sense the beauty of gvu. And if I said the river from that, we see that if yeah, there wasn't that inion of symptom, and the inion of the erin safe was to be miskala, kamoi shuhu, you know, even from gilui erin safe, then they wouldn't come into being at all, they would just be... Yeah, Nikla in the air and Sefer Bilti Balgvu, and there wouldn't really be any more tears, because in a Bilti Balgvu there's no more, yeah, there's no more tears. And when we learn him to, that the Nishamas and the Malachim in El Maria live in a very interesting uh, state. As we go further down, they don't have that type of chukka. They have a chukka only to be known in Lamaila Mihe. Of uh, the, the in Oilam Abriya, since that's the first Oilam, you yeah, happen to get to the uh, Oilam Asayesh, then they live in a state of almost what you, uh, we might describe as a, uh, 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 they live in a, a, contra, a contradiction or a, a contrast. Really, their chukka and their desire would be get out of here altogether. They don't, they don't want to be in a limitation because they've got a certain masoga in blue limitation. They're built in Balga, Gavu, and therefore they're always longing and, and desiring to go into that level. Of a sense, of course, of they are near Ruim, but they can't really ever make that, and therefore they're called Srafim, that they're kilo burnt, but they're, 
they're still uh, an entity where they, they are, but their whole uh, longing, the whole union, is uh, to go into the uh, head there, as it were, of their own, of their own machias. And in the Nishomas, that's even more panemius than in the ma. In the Malachim, in the Malachim, it's only to the Inu of Asoga. Or being the Inu of the Nishama, that's the Inu of me. In the Nishama, it's Kemuvu and Perik Yutesa. The Alter Rebbe is Maraya, the Nair Hashem, Nishmas Odom. But just like the Nair is Eila Lamaila and wants to be Botel, Bishor Shaloi, the Etzim Tibwe, what he calls it over there, Inu of Teva. Yeah, so the Nishamas also, they continuously want to go up and become Botel in Tel Akus, even the way they are down here in this in this world, which means that this whole longing on the part of the Nishamas is be Pnimis Vyatsmi Asatlam and Yesh Lemar at the Ike Raya here from uh, the uh, the Indian of Hasoge is from the Molochim, not so much from the Nishamas, even though he does mention the Nishama. The Imhoya Maya Gila and Slay Times in Vroin Klau. Kiim ali date symptom. It can only occur through the union of symptom or air. Liya is nimsha pachinus ha ora di ha ora li ba. But as we pointed out, it's a ha ora di ha ora di ha symptom ve helen. It's not just a stam symptom, but it's a symptom ha malim. Akamai shakasu. Yeah, hoi doi al erat special moim. That what is maya on erat special moim? Nivroim. Either in the Nivroim of the higher Oilamas or the Nivroim of the lower Oilamas, but Nivroim, if what is Maya onto them is only Huidva Ziv, only a splendor as it were, only a Haora of a Haora from Etzim Elokos. Bechinus Huidva Ziv Shoga Oila Levat, only a splendor or a luminescence and a shining of the oil altogether. The koi amashu kosu koi dimloze, and that is really referring back to what is written before that. Ki nizgov shmeila levade, which you're already familiar, but that's your pasuk that you say in. Um, when I say your pasuk, it's everybody's pasuk. That's the pasuk you say in in, uh, in um, davening every day. That yihalu Hashem Hashem ki nizgov shmeila levade. You must praise the name of Hashem because His name is. Elevate, how do you call it, um, uh, tremendously uh, high on its own. Yeah. What is on Eretz Vashomoy is only Hoidoi Vazi. But here we see then that the is not just Hoid Vazi of the Atmos, nor even Hoid Vazi of Shmoy. Nizko Shmoy Labade, Hoid Eretz Vashomoy. Yeah, so we see that even from the Shem, there's also a Hoid Bilvad, which indicates that it's only a Ha'ora di Ha'ora. And that's what we're going to complete with this evening. So he says, Kinizko Shmei Levade. We do it the shame, or the union of shame itself, Rach Ha'ora Levad, Veloyetem. Shame itself is a Ha'ora and not Etem. Or Kamei Shem Ha'odam, Shaina Etem Ha. Odom. So when we say Shem eats like Kodesh Paul, we mean only a Ha'ora me, me menu, because it's just like the Shem down here doesn't indicate the Etzim, so it is La Maila. We all say, Oma ki nizgav Shmoi leva doi. That even the level of Shmoi, the Gabi Elamis, is nizgav. That he called it's uh, uh, tremendously elevated all on it, oh, as if it were completely on its own, uh, beyond, beyond the whole in. The Bechina Shmoy, who Nizgav Umarumam. Yeah, the shame itself is Nizgav Umarumam, had he called elevated and tremendously withdrawn. Shagam Bechina Sa'ora, they ain't safe. Even that Ha'ora, which is Shmoy, EF Shal and Ivroim Kabil. They can only be makabel rak hoidoi al eretz v'sho moim. That they can only be makabel a hoid al eretz v'sho moim. Bechinas hoid v'ziv shel shmoila, but only a hoid v'ziv shel shmoi. I know a ha'ora di ha, because the whole shem itself is only a ha'ora. So we see that the levels in the ha'ora. There's a ha'ora which is still 
called Nizgov Shmoy, albeit it's only our aura, but it's called Nizgov. Then there's a further symptom, yeah, but there's Hester, which gives rise to a void vazib bill, but from that level. And that's what's Meir al Eretz Vashop. So then we see the two in the onim of Hara Diha or Bilba. If only a, a hoido is on the Eretz and Shemayim, they might be saying doubling that the Malachim are praising the shame, Hakel. Have you heard it? saying doubling that the Malachim are praising the shame. The, the shame, Hakel. Uh, yeah, well, we said that the Malachim were not so much. They were, uh, they were uh, going out to the Eretz of a guilty bomb for. So that's because they are mashing what we're just saying now. They are mashing that even the highest level, which comes into be any sort of shaykhs to Nibroim, yeah, the Shmoy, well, that's only a Ziva or it's only a horror in its own soul. You follow? And they, that, from that they draw the conclusion they must be in it for guilty bulb rule. And that causes them to want to be out of their place, as you might say. Of a, in the place is they have been covered only from a Ziva or a You follow? But on the contrary, because they know that that's only a Ziva or therefore they want to go out to the, uh, the Indian for Makif Legamri, which is a uh, guilty bulb gavul. Okay, so we'll hold there for this evening. And uh, I'll uh, uh, together with Mashiach Tidkainu will be Mamshik. Uh,